Hey guys, Matt Kentucky Rangstein back with the next episode of our 38 special gel block test videos. And this video is going to focus on the Hornady 125 grain FP XTP bullet. Now this is the flat point bullet uh, originally designed for rifles, uh, but we're going to go ahead and test it in all five barrel lengths here today. Uh, all the way through the video, I'm calling this the XTP, but it is the FP XTP uh, throughout the video. So, uh, make that adjustment as we go and let's get right into it and take a look at the loading and then we'll get on out to the range. All right, here's a quick look at the loading for this. Of course, the uh, 125 grain FP XTP bullets here and it gives you a look at the Hornady part numbers and everything on that. Uh, a light power pistol powder, CCI small pistol primers and as normal Starline 38 special brass. And here is a good look at about how much of this bullet is down in the case. And here is a good look at the difference between the flat point bullets and the regular XTP bullets. Now this is a 140 grain bullet, so it's just a little bit taller, but the, the, the tips are the same on the XTPs and the FP XTPs regardless of the weight. So this gives you a good idea of how this tip has been redesigned for this FP bullet. So, all right guys, let's get on out to the range and we'll see how this thing does in the gel block. Next up, we're gonna be looking at the 38 Special, uh, running the Hornady 125 grain XTP bullet. And we'll be running this out of the 20 inch uh, Rossi R92, <coughs> a six and a half inch Taurus Tracker, a five inch Ruger GP100, a three inch Rossi RP63, and a two inch Rossi Snub Nose revolver. Velocities on the Garmin Cero C1 Pro and catches courtesy of uh, Clear Ballistics and their 10% FBI gel block out here. So let's get started and see what we can do. <clears throat> but we did get a catch. I'm going to reshoot that one in the gel block. That one actually curved down and bounced off the steel plate, so we probably didn't get an accurate penetration result with that one. No velocity with that one either. one in the back stop. Alright, 1411.7 for velocity. <clears throat> Let's go check the catch. All right, guys, wound track starting right here with this round. Looks like we had good expansion, uh, complete by one inch. Had some small uh, active uh, fragments coming off here uh, in the two to, to six inch mark. And from about six inches on, we get pretty much just straight line penetration down through here. Looks like we're stopped right at, right at exactly 16 inches, right before it uh, pushes over into the second gel block, so. That's the 20 inch barrel. Let's go back and try the Taurus Tracker with a six and a half inch barrel. All right, next up is the Taurus Tracker with the 125 grain XTP. Velocity of 1173. 
And let's go check the catch on this one. So wound track starting here, we get that nice expansion again by one inch. Got a few active fragments coming off here around the four to five inch mark. Uh, good rotation. You can see the spiral rotation on this bullet. And we get a nice permanent wound cavity all the way down through here into the 13 inch mark. Then it starts settling down. And we're sitting out here at about 20 inches. And this thing is uh, actually finished up running backwards. So, all right. That's a six and a half inch tracker. Let's go back and try the four inch GP100. All right, next up is the uh, Ruger GP100 five inch with the Hornady 125 grain XTP 38 special. Velocity. 1118 foot per second and five tenths. Let's go check the cats. All right, wound track starting right here. And we do have some expansion, but uh, does not appear to be full expansion like we were getting and not nearly as quick as with the other rounds. Uh, we've got some nice permanent wound cavity here uh, two and a half to uh, seven and a half to eight inches out, and then this thing settles down. And we've got straight line penetration all the way into the catch block. Looks like we're sitting down here at about 22 and a half inches. Get a little bit better view of this from the top side. So we got some expansion there, but not uh, not a whole lot past just opening up. We'll dig it out and get a better look at it in a few minutes. All right, next up is the uh, Hornady 125 grain XTP bullet, 38 special in the Rossi RP63 three inch barrel. Velocity of 1076.0. Let's go check this one out. All right, so wound track starting right here, and we do get a little bit of expansion on this bullet. Uh, not not enough to open it up and, and have those active fragments coming off like with the, the longer barrels, but. Uh, We've got some movement going on here. We got some nice permanent wound cavity from about an inch and a half uh, down to seven, eight inches. And then this thing settles down. I do see one little fragment right here that has come off and looks like our total penetration is right about 18 and three quarter inches. And that is this bullet right here. So you can see there, yeah, the pedals were opening it up, but we did not, didn't even get all the pedals folded back on this one. So, all right, let's go back and see what the two inch can do with this bullet. All right, next up is the uh, two inch Rossi snub nose. And this is the 125 grain one of the XTP bullet. Let's see if we got the catch. We do have a catch, so I'm going to put this next one into the backstop to get a velocity. One thousand and nine. Point eight foot per second. All right, let's go check out the uh, the catch on that one. All 
All right, so we've got our wound track starting right here on this one. And uh, don't have any of the big action or the permanent wound cavity like we did with any of the longer barrels. Uh, looks like we've got pretty much this straight line penetration uh, starting off right at the bat. We track right on down through here into the second block. And right here we are. Looks like total penetration around 25 inches before it sucked it back just a little bit. And it does not appear that we had any expansion at all on this bullet with the two-inch Rossi. So, all right, guys. Let's get these dug out, and we'll move on to the next one. All right, guys. So here's a look at the results after we got these things dug out. So 20-inch rifle, 6.5 Taurus, 4-inch GP100, 3-inch Rossi, and the 2-inch Rossi snub nose. And you can see that we got good expansion uh, out of these all the way down to the three inch. Uh, the two inch didn't have much moving on it at all, but something else that happened, we got decent penetration with this, but we kept this big wide jagged opening with this bullet. Now, compared to the regular 125 grain XTP that we tested earlier, these did not open up as completely as the, the standard 125 grains did. They laid completely back uh, all the all the all the copper pedals laid all the way back against the base of the bullet, so they went through this phase, but actually opened up even further. And uh, so this one surprisingly did well. I didn't expect it to do this well. Uh, even even the two inch round down here had a really nice temporary wound channel, uh, as you saw in slow motion. So uh, I'm going to say this is a pretty good bullet in 38. Uh, both of these XTPs. 125s and the FP 125s uh, would would do quite well, I think, in a, in a in a 38 special uh, loading, especially from three inch on up. So uh, you go back and compare, you know, do a, a quick look back at the the standard XTP bullet, and then come back and watch this one, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, I may even post the uh, the uh, the spreadsheet for the standard load up after this one too. That way, you can do a little bit of a comparison there as well. So. All right, guys, one of these FP XTP bullet in 125 grain, and I'm surprised this did as well as it did. Uh, it seems like with the heavier FP bullets we tested, uh, our expansion was delayed, uh, and we did not get near as good expansion at the lower velocities uh, as what we did with the faster rifle velocities. But even in this 38 special, you know, we got pretty good penetration and good expansion all the way down to the three inch. And, uh, and that actually was a little bit surprising uh, to me uh, for this bullet. I wasn't expecting the, the three inch to do as well as it did. So, all right, guys, uh, Hornady's 125 grain FP XTP uh, is proving to be a, a decent 38 caliber load as well as a, as a good 357 mag load. So, all right questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, as always, if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. That really goes a long way towards supporting the page. Uh, and, and turn on the notifications. Uh, I mean, that's a secondary thing. Uh, sometimes the subscriber count is important. And, you know, of course, all the views are important. But uh, even, even if you don't turn on notifications, uh, at least uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I would appreciate that. And, uh, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and Matt from Kentucky Range Time, we'll catch you on the next one.